Huh? Stop right there, criminal scum! This video is not made for children. If you're under age 13 or younger, please, for the love of Christ, live at once, or you will be judged! Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to review another Bionicle review for you guys. If you guys remember, I did a... I review that uh, Gatar, Garar, Garan, sorry, which is this guy right here. Go ahead and check it out. If you're on your phone, go to the information symbol on the top. Or if you're on your computer, go to the outro. It's going to be a description. I apologize. Um, I thought I saw something scary, but no, never mind. So today I'm going to review a 2007 Lego Bionicle for you guys. And the one I'm going to be reviewing is set number 8929 Dekar. Oh, but I said it right, it's not, I'm sorry. I'm just going to, you know, angle the camera right here because, well, I'm laying down on the ground while recording this and it hurts so much. So, yeah. So, um, oh man, I'm very excited to have this in my collection. The Delfo, I can't even pronounce his name right, I'll be right back. Okay, it's the Phil Act, I'm sorry. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the original box, but if you guys want to see what it looks like, here it is, the Phil Act box. What it looks like. I got mine at Cole's Flea Market. If you guys remember, I got it from a seller who have the who have the Bionicle uh, figures in there mixed with some McDonald figures, which I am gonna sell some of the McDonald figures. So yeah. Now the Philak is a Mari Mator Mari um, Torin, and he is and this one is from the the Tome. Um, Toe, um, not Toe. Po, um, Mari. Yes, he's a Po Matoran. And the reason why he's a Po Matoran, because if, because, you know, the underwater s screen, I thought he was the, from the, um, Lee Matoran, but it's actually from the stone. So yeah, don't get confused. Anyways, the building and the detail of this, of this character looks pretty cool. Uh, their Delphox, Delphox works so well, and the one thing that's great about this, they use some of the old pieces. If you guys already remember, the chest piece from the Toa Hordiga, the old arm piece from the 2001 Bionicle, and the great about this, they use his, they use the Samuel Spear Launcher as his shoulder mounted weapon. No, the one thing great about this, they use this mask, which I actually don't know the actual name of this one. But if you guys do know, please leave the comment down below. This one is a repaint, but now in green. Like in dark. I think it's like a dark maturing, a to uh, metro green, so yeah. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any, you know, translucent pieces right here in the back of the head, so that's kind of sucks. But if I could remove the mask, here it is what it looks like. Without his mask, and here it is his mask. Pretty cool. I like to have the detail on it. Articulation wise, his head can go 360 degrees, but because of the design of this mask, yeah, sometimes it can get in the way. Both of the arms can go in and out, but unfortunately, the left side has is, is been occupied by this Samo Spear Launcher. So I'll use the right side. So the arms can go 360 degrees, does go up, in and out like that, well, up and down. No elbow articulation, you can see the sculpt in like that, and no wrist articulation the way because of the way it looks. No waist articulation, legs can go forward, a lot of backwards. No knee articulation because of the design of looks. You do get some ankle articulation, you can get some ankle pivots. The way feet can go up and down, and the ankle can slow to 100, 300, 300, 300, Jesus! 360 degrees. Sorry guys, I'm just like very tired right now and it's plus besides it's kind of hot. He does have a function by the way. And you load up a Samus Spear Launcher right here. 
Now the way it works, you have to have your two fingers right here and your thumb right there. And if you get some nice and give it a nice push, nice push. He comes with two Samo Spears, so it's great about the use Samo Spears. I like this kind of weapon because if you add it with you know the the extended version, the extended magazine. It, Oops, I kind of took it off by accident. If you use it as a extended magazine on it, you can launch more Samuel Spears, which is pretty cool. Now his, I forgot the other guy name is, of his companion, which is a Matorn of Air for 2007. I forgot his name is, but I will, but if you guys do know, please leave it, leave it a comment down below. Alright, I'm going to get the Phallic. In his final posting, so I'll be right get back, you guys, to give you guys my final. Result. Overall, the Falcon is one of the coolest character ever because he have a Samus Spear launcher on his shoulder to protect himself. Yeah, I think I think this was one of the coolest uh, Lego set Bionicle for a Lego Bionicle set on my in the history. So yeah, if you guys want to see Garak, I forgot to do a size comparison here. Just compare with Garak and Onipu. These two are short, and he is the long, he is, and he is the tall boy. But anyways, if you guys want to see the Garak review, go ahead and check it out. Or if you want to see a full playlist of every Lego Bionicle review, too, guys, leave a comment down, leave a comment down below um, for a request to which Bionicle figure I should review or Hero Factory. Oops. So yeah. I'll tell you next time, you guys. We don't. We will like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Steam, Discord, Twitch, and Origin. Look at the description down below, and also on Patreon. Donate a dollar if you want to. So yeah, I'll tell you next time, you guys. I'm out.